The 2015 to 2016 rescue season challenged Team Rise to take our creativity, strategy, design, function, and development, and teamwork to a higher level. Our team motto is ever higher, and this year's game allowed us to put that to the test. Thank you for the opportunity to share our season with you. Team Rise has a creative approach to solving problems. When we had challenges with the control system, we wrote a grant that enabled us to purchase three sets and build multiple training robots. This allowed more team members to gain hands-on experience in solving problems. We think outside the box because we saw this challenge as an opportunity to grow. The unique elements of our design include repurposing a clipboard used last season by our scouts. This hinge device allows for easy access to motors and protects the communication wires from too much stress. Our team has developed a creative approach to robot control and success in our game strategy. Our first obstacle was to move around the field during autonomous without block hindrance. We used paint rollers to push blocks out of the way, making room for the tracks and increasing the accuracy of our autonomous and teleop. We describe our game strategy as a basis for our design. Our first priority was analyzing scoring opportunities and ranking them by difficulty. Our strategy has both scoring objective and alliance supportive roles and is flexible to work with different capabilities of alliance partners. Given the challenges with this year's electronic system and programming as well as the vertical climb, we found that we needed to be very practical. Our team uses mathematical computations to assess the robot components and parts of the design. Traction was extremely important and we used the coefficient of friction. Tank treads allow us to bridge the churros and potentially reach the high zone. Our robot has functional features that include a rotating tower to move the autonomous climbers. Our robot functions are easily controlled by the drive team by making use of a skid steer control system, as well as allowing us to switch the direction in which the robot travels. Our robot is robust with high reliability. Our team uses CAD software to determine what we want to build before we ever touch any physical part. This way we know what we are building will be reliable. We build multiple prototypes before construction. Team Rise uses an annual poinsettia sale to fund our team, selling more than 3,000 points Status. We received a $2,000 grant from the American Institution of Chemical Engineers to fund the purchase of multiple control systems to reach out to young team members and to build our ro mobile robotics lab, a trailer we purchased with last year's poinsettia sale profit. We reach out to the community by giving poinsettias to elderly shut-ins through partnerships with two local ministries. We deliver poinsettias to police stations, sheriff's department, and the emergency room at our local hospital to thank them for their service. Three members of our team, as well as a graduated world champion mentor, led us summer program for third to fourth graders at Parker Street M Ministries Summer Bridge Camp, where the students were exposed to hands-on engineering and robot design processes for the first time ever. We use Google Drive in order to share pictures of practice and new design options. We also use Join Me for teleconferences that bring the whole team together with mentors. Our team celebrates FTC and each other through our color scheme, enthusiastic cheering using our distinctive Team Rise flags, and the way we spread the message of robotics.